Generic greetings and welcome to Two Point Hospital. This is a game where you build and manage a hospital. It's also considered by many to be the spiritual successor slash pseudo sequel to Theme Hospital, one of the best bullfrog games ever made. In fact, I'm sure some people do consider it to be the best game that they made. I really like Dungeon Keeper, so I can't say which one I prefer. In fact, I can. I prefer neither. I enjoy both, I'm glad they both exist, and honestly to put them in a versus scenario would be ultimately pointless, totally clickbaity, and we just don't have time for that. Today's apple is... Mmm. Granny Smith. Crunchy. Bit sour. Lovely. Mmm. Very tasty indeed. Anyway, so I've played about three and a bit hours of this game so far, and I've been enjoying every minute of it. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted out of a pseudo-sequel slash Theme Hospital 2 type thing, because it stands on the shoulders of Theme Hospital, but makes its own headway. It doesn't rely on nostalgia, but certainly weighs in with it. It has the same sort of cheeky, quirky, humorous tone that that game had, and that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Uh, the chances are, if you have any in any interest at all in a theme hospital, you're probably already aware of this game because it's received a lot of press, a lot of attention, a lot of traction. Because honestly, I think it's deserved. It, I think it's deserved. Either way, I'm going to show you a bit of the game, and you can decide about something for yourself or not. Let's go to continue, and we're going to try the uh, third scenario, which I have only just loaded into. I've only played, I say, three and a bit hours, but I've only played the first two scenarios. Why well, you no move? There we go. So I've played this scenario on this scenario, and the reason for my slow pace is because I purposely want to just take it and enjoy it and slow the pace down. I don't want to blast through all of the missions and, um, you know, I want to take as long as I want on this one, which is why I'm not doing a series at the moment. I just want to, to just, you know, just play it at a fairly steady pace and I've went back to other ones and yeah, that's why. Anyway, let's go for this mission here. This is where we have to, uh, I believe we have to build um, different bits to train people up, but uh, this is staff development, so to get the most out of your staff, we need to train and promote them when someone is gaining the experience of the job, we've got some training, and yeah, we'll get on with that later, so staff development, we'll get onto that later on. So, this is our, our hospital grounds, as you can see, this is the building we start with, These this is the main entrance here, which is where the, uh, the patients will be coming in, and we also have some um, extra areas here, like different plots of land where we can buy that and expand the hospital, and indeed, we probably will do that. A quick rundown of the UI top right shows us our main objectives at the moment and that'll progress on and um, you get different objectives as you move through the game. You've also got a online challenging thing where you can see what your friends have done on your Steam list and uh, you can sort of you know, try and best them or whatever which is pretty cool. On the bottom right we have our mailbox, we have also time controls, money, you have your uh, kudosh, generic units of currency essentially. Um, it's not, it's more like um, points to unlock things. Uh, this is our generic of currency, 200,000 in fact, there we go. Uh, we also have a reputation, which um, can alter, um, it can alter based on um, how big your hospital is, what amenities you have, what uh, things you can cure, and also uh, how much you charge as well. And you've got an overall level as well, which is sort of tied to the same thing. And then all of our building controls over on the left there. We need a reception, thank you very much. In fact, what I should really do. <laughs> Take a seat, get off those feet. Yes, we do have the uh, similar sort of announcer to uh, to Theme Hospital. The comparisons to Theme Hospital are so numerous that I'm going to try and avoid them because, quite frankly, we'd be here all day if I just said, "Oh, look, that's like Theme Hospital. That's like Theme Hospital." Because guess what? The game is pretty much like that. Anyway, so we've also got uh, room building, um, items, um, hiring. Yeah, you've still got doctors, nurses, assistants, janitors, same sort of thing as we've seen before. And uh, you've got overlays as well for like prices for what you're going to charge for like diagnostics and stuff like that. And uh, you've also got overlays for like health and happiness and stuff. But anyway, let's just get on with the basic hospital. -y. So we need. We need items and we need a reception which we are going to obviously put near the front. It's a uh, left click and drag to spin it round, fairly intuitive and uh, you can see we've got a grid system which does snap to grid but you can also sort of go in either there or in the middle so that's pretty good as well. We can step things around. I'm not going to put it right there, I'm going to put it a little bit further back to about there. There we are. So there's our reception. We now also need to hire someone so we'll go to hire and we'll say assistant and we've got uh, Ben Duve who's uh, rating three out of five stars. They have a couple of traits. We've got stamina training so energy drains at a reduced rate and customer service. A few percent customer service skill so we're going to hire those. They're also hygienic and likes to take stairs. Take the stairs. Okay, fine. So we're gonna hire you, and there we go. So we now have, we now have a, uh, a place for them to uh, 
to stand and greet people as they come in. Here's, in fact, one person here. This is uh, Angelina uh, shirt dress because all the second names... In fact, the names are just really, really humorous. <laughs> um, and quite sometimes it can be quite... Um, hmm, quite a bit rude at times. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, rooms, uh, GP's office. Let's go to um, here, and we're going to build a, a couple of offices for our GPs. Uh, you can use the uh, buttons at the top to edit and alter the size of it. I'm going to have it as a 3 by Actually, can I have it as a 3x3? Three three? I probably can have it as a 3x3, three three. and do I want to do it that way? Um, yes, because I want this to be a 3x3 three three for the pharmacy and such. And we're going to put another one in here, probably. Or are we? Or are we? I don't know. Um... No, that, that should be fine, that should be fine. Um, but what we'll probably do is um, shrink down there and move it back over to there. So we need to place a door. So we'll place a door in the... Um, we'll place it there, and we can have some windows if you want as well. So there and there. Um, you can place it around the outside as well, so we'll place one there and there. We're not going to put it on the other side because I think we're going to have uh, buildings there. We need an office desk, which is, you know, the, the base thing you need. So we'll place that uh, just as they come in like so. We'll have a filing cabinet because why not? And you've also got things like bins and extinguishers. I currently haven't had a fire and I don't really want to see exactly what that does. We're going to place a bookcase on the left hand side there because why not. This is increasing the prestige level of the office which indeed, uh, which um, um, also increases the prestige of the, um, of the hospital and will sort of level it up. So by extension it levels that up and we'll pull a, like, this little potter plant in there and then we'll just click build and there we go. No need to furnish it and do the colours but there you go, there's our there's our nice GP's office. So what we'll do is we'll go to hire and then to doctors and we'll go for a doctor, we've got treatment, we've got general practice, uh, diagnostics, we'll go for you. So there we go, that's it, Eva Carpet and we'll say you, hire, welcome to your new workspace. Right, what else do we need? Well, we probably need a pharmacy because that's something you, well, often need and that is the case here so we'll place the pharmacy what we'll do is we'll actually remove that little bit there the reason for that is I want some um, like vending machines around there we will have our drug mixer um, just straight as you come in there and you don't really need anything else so I mean I could just leave it there I'm going to well we do need a door obviously obviously uh, there we are uh, we also need well we don't need windows but we'll place a couple of them there and uh, on this side as well actually no we're not we'll leave them like that uh, we can have hand sanitizers on there as well um, which I do like to put on the outside of um, Outside of rooms as well. Uh, we've got, an, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here like anatomy model and uh, like a light head poster and such. And all of this stuff here is unlocked with the uh, the Kubo, Ku, um, Kudosh? Kudosh. I always go say uh, Ku box. It's not. It's uh, the uh, Kudosh. So there's a clock in there. And we'll have a plant because why not? There we go. And that's in there. Now we need a nurse for that. So we'll hire a nurse. Um, diagnostics. Emotional intelligence, pharmacy management, um, they're, they're very expensive. So we'll go for Eve Weaver, hire, and there we go. And we now have someone in there. Cool. So what we'll do is we will unpause it, and we'll hopefully be able to uh, do something here. Obviously, we haven't got any benches or seating, so I'm going to alter that by uh, putting some benches and seating in. Um, I'm going to have almost certainly another GP's office here. I'm trying to think ahead of the of the uh, hospital. Uh, we're going to have a couple of benches there and next to it we'll have a drinks machine because why not. Aha! Here we go. We've now got diagnostics. Ward required. So, our doctors have discovered a new illness, a bed face. Quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping ankles. <laughs> Uh, so we can either send them home or say wait. So we're going to say wait because building a ward isn't going to take a massive amount of our time. So we'll go to rooms and then to ward. And I'm going to build a ward like this. And you might think that's really big. And, well, it sort of is. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to have another office here and such and whatnot. And then it means that people can go either side of it. So that should be about right. Uh, where do we want our entrance to be? We could have it there. And then we have our GP's office there. That would work out. And then it's a little bit interesting. So we'll have our uh, reception there. Then you need a place to uh, change uh, for the well for the patients to change. What we'll do is we'll have them going one, 
um, I want the screens two, three, and then one, and then two. So there's all the screens, and then the beds. Then we can probably put one, two, three. Ah, uh, we can't actually. No, we can probably do that. Um, just drop the tool. Hang on, and uh, we'll sort of pick that up. Is that okay? Or can we put some more in? Uh, see that blocks the. Actually, can we probably do that and that so we can get in that side and that side and. That side, that should be all right. Um, I think so. We'll put a. Do we need lockers? What do lockers do? Increase room prestige. Final cabinets is just decorative item. Uh, we'll put a fire extinguisher in because, well, it's just um, useful. We'll put a hand sanitizer in. Um, in the corner there, and in the corner there. Probably haven't lined them up. No miles out of the way, and that's going to annoy some people. So I will probably. Ooh, no. Uh, I'll probably uh, try and move that, put it in the center. There we go. And we'll place some plants in as well. Mm, place it in there. And uh, there we go. And that's now a ward. So we will hire a nurse, and I think we have one for. Um, diagnostics, no... Oh, there we go, ward management. So, 20% diagnostic skill in ward and treatment and other things. And, oh, and 20% uh, treatment for fractured... Uh, oh, and fracture ward. Alright, there we go. And we'll hire them and then we'll unpause it. And then this person will then go to there, to our new ward. Excellent. You see, it doesn't take uh, long to get a, a hospital up and running, which is good. It also looks very pretty. It is a very nice looking game. Uh, we can upgrade our drug mixer if we want to. Um, and the way we do that is by basically just clicking on it and say upgrade. But we do need our mechanics on a janitor, which currently we haven't got any janitors. So I will hire Jennifer Hunt and hire. And if we want to do, we can say upgrade. And it costs 10 grand, but it just increases the overall um, effectiveness of the drug mixer. So your items will break down. So it's important that you... Um, you um, keep them in a good state of repair, and that obviously means janitors going around and fixing that. Empty space and just ponder the mysteries of the universe. Like, how many planets out there support life? And what's another word for thesaurus? More existential questions after this. Yeah, the radio is quite humorous. <laughs> the radio is really, really good. Anyway. So is that apple. Uh, a new illness, verbal diarrhea, discovered. Uh, the disease people can't stop talking about. Verbal diarrhea spreads fast and can be heard for miles. Hmm. We need to cure that then. Our overall objective, as you can see, is get the hospital to level 4, current 2. Hire 7 staff out of 5 of 7 at the moment. So, what we'll probably need is um, some more, more seating, I think. Uh, more seating is generally... The way to go. So put one there, one there, and one there. I'm going to put a big bin in the con. <laughs> yes. Oh, we got a news agent here. That's a new one. I can't remember getting that. Uh, you know you can look at discovered illnesses. Yes, I can. Uh, the, the fella tends to um, repeat a lot of what we've already heard, which can be somewhat annoying. Uh, where do you want to put a new stand? Ideally, a new stand would go there. Yeah, a new stand. No, it doesn't look. It looks out of place. Looks well out of place. Um, I'll put a bin there. Put a new stand in there. That's a bit better. And the bin near the exit there is is okay. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Right. So, um, do we have anything we need to wait for? Um, don't think so. We can probably just crack on. So I've got cardiology. I've got psychiatry, staff room, and toilets. We probably need staff room and toilets. So let's get that up and running. So we'll say toilets first over on the left here. We'll say that, and we'll have an entrance to it there. And we have toilet cubicles. So one, two, three, four, five. Spin it round. One, two, three. Another announcement. Try not to die. Isn't that a standing order? Anyway. Lots of sinks, and then your hand dries on your way out there. Probably a bin. Can't have a big bin. Um, can we not sell that? Yes, we can. Big bin in the corner. Yes. Hand sanitizer. Lovely. Oh, is that all blocked? I think it's blocked. Oh, no, that's okay there. 
And... There. Oh, this is something that's um, an issue. Um, hang on. Right, so I've moved that. Yep, can you see that? Completely tiled wall. If I uh, drop it down, you'll be able to see it. Um, I don't need to drop it down. There you go, completely tiled wall. Go to the other side. You can see inside. If you put that back, you can't. Literally unplayable. Uh, <laughs> there are... In fact, why is there no door on it? Why, why, why is there no door? Hang on, let me click on that to items. Can I not edit it? I think I can. Edit. The door is there. I don't know why that is, but let's just move on. So, that's in there. Uh, we also need a staff room. Because your staff will get tired. Um, I'm trying to think, do I need another doctor? Not the moment. So, rooms. Staff room. There we go. And we have sofas. So, we'll put that in there. And we'll have a drinks machine. We'll have a snack machine. And we'll have a salty snacks machine. There we go. Um, we'll have... <laughs> yes, it's nil the uh safety inspector Jeremy Stones jobs worth were seen checking into the Shore Thing Hotel in Grockle Bay yesterday. He was then seen running out and screaming this morning. Sounds about right. <laughs> so we're just building a basic staff room there. We've also got um, psychiatry ward. I will say, get patient to wait. So we need a psychiatry ward, but so far we've managed to get a ward. We've got an infirmary, a GP's office, and we now need a psychiatry ward, which we can probably put in this corner. Although, let's see. So psychiatry, um, it's not called psychiatry ward, it's called psychiatry. Um, that will fit in there nicely. So we'll have a chair, which you can put these on angles, which again, I really, really like. Nice little touch there. Um, spin that round. And we will have, it seems to be right that you have like sort of books and trophies in here. Um, there we go. And it seems inappropriate to put an anatomy model in the corner, but we're going to do that. We've also got some like light, uh, what's that, lightheadedness and eye test thingy sausage um, kebab carp. Uh, <laughs> you can see on this, on that. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of little things like that. We'll have the clock. Just above the head and tick, 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 tick. And we want a... We want a nice plant. Um, Where would it go, though? Probably behind them. No, it's not going to fit. Oh, no, it'll probably go there. No, it won't go in anywhere. Um, I'll probably just get rid of that then. Oh, no, I'll put that in the corner or something. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now, you can see I got that to level three. There is nothing stopping me spamming posters and spamming items in there to get it leveled up. And then it looks physically rubbish. There's nothing stopping you do that. So if you're wondering, well, why can't I just, in, to increase my reputation or whatever, just spam loads of stuff in there? Well, you can. You can. It won't look very good. And it's really not what it's about. But yeah, you can do it. Which is why I said I wanted to take it slow at its own, you know, my own pace and such. Because otherwise, if you're just playing it mechanically... Sort of missing the point, really. Uh, we've got a new illness discovered. A gut, a misery guts discovered. Uh, chronic grumpiness due to nihilistic semicolon. <laughs> we have to go to the pharmacy for that. So as you can see, we've got um, a person with a bowler hat here. That's uh, Donald Growl. And um, yeah, they've got Freudian lips. Tendency to pout excessively when faced with a camera. <laughs> Caused by a buildup of uh, lewd thoughts in the cerebral cortex, psychiatrists must use subconscious tap to drain the excess thoughts into a beaker. Which they don't do, they just, oh, good grief. Uh, they just, you know, have an attitude to them and such. I wonder if that clock's accurate. No, there you go, I think that person is cured. Do you know you in hospital more attractive by placing plants and decorative items? Yes, I knew that. There we go. But, uh, we need to hire one more staff member. Um... And then we should be able to 
Crack on. Uh, we also this pharmacy emergency. So this is like a challenge that's paid up. So an outbreak of pharmacy related illness after a recent craze involved eating uh, highlighter pens took the country by storm. There's a group looking for treatment. So I can say yes. What happens is we'll get um, four patients turn up quickly and we have to queue them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to higher and then nurses and we're going to get... Um, Eve Pomp because they've got lots of skills, they're expensive but it doesn't really matter and that will give us our training license. Caution. Always proceed with caution. <laughs> Beware clowns. What? Fluttering is a bit of a problem recently. Clowns, they're everywhere. Apparently they keep uh, escaping from the travelling circus. Their hijinks can be a real nuisance. Okay. Um, we now have training. Oh, you've also got things like a deluxe clinic, which you get people with light bulbs on the head. Oh, we need a pans lab, look. There's um, there's a person with a pan on the head. <laughs> so obviously you get, you, you guess essentially visual clue, uh, cues to go, well, I know what I'm going to need to build next. And I like the progression um, from the previous... Um, scenarios that you've played because it you get um, new things unlocked you know that's a standard but um, once you go back to those other ones you then get the items that you've unlocked from uh, the scenarios ahead so that's good there's reason to go back and to to uh, level those up and obviously you're gonna get different types of uh, patients based on the, uh, the the one that you're doing so we need a pans lab we also need training as well but to be honest with you we could um, continue on this forever but uh, that's not really what this is about this was just a short preview of the game and um, yeah this has been that so overall thoughts well I think I summarized it at the start it's pretty much exactly what I was looking for it is certainly a follow on from a theme hospital it follows a lot of convention from that game a lot um so much so that some people i could honestly understand if they were put off by saying well it's just theme hospital but modern well yeah that that was sort of the point though i mean i don't know how you it's a very very fine line if you make it too different it's not what people wanted if you make it exactly the same then it's just derivative and relies on the nostalgia this one i think treads a fine line and gets it right um either way i've enjoyed it immensely from what i've played i will certainly be playing more and uh what's this another oh, we've got eve uh, pomp senior nurse there's a challenge uh shoot five uh mono beasts ah right when we got mono brow um the brow sorts sort of uh, starts wandering off and uh, you have to you have to shoot it when you see it it's like killing the rats in uh, theme hospital but anyway yeah it's exactly what i was looking for i'm really enjoying it and uh, quite frankly if you have any interest in uh, that then yeah you should probably check it out very quirky very funny and uh, yeah it just seems to work couple of rough edges uh, as i said with that all like window thing and it's mainly visual where like sometimes the the like you know like the legs clip through the body and stuff or like they'll go when there's um i think it's the pan lab where they get tossed around sometimes it, the animation's a bit iffy but it's all minor stuff you know it's like <laughs> the actual moment to moment is immensely fun i'm happy just watching um them wander around and there's a clown and uh <laughs> just look at the way they walk and that's got the sandy black oh let's take some look at the names cat moose uh cooper got a flake uh brad comfortable <laughs> um Emma Flunk, Flunkle, Jennifer Hunt, yeah, <laughs> some uh, interesting names, yeah, Alex Explosion, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, oh, staff promotion, yes, I'll promote them, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, because quite frankly, if I don't put an end to it, we will be here forever, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, links in the description, so you can check it out yourself, thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings. I mean...